conditionals, aka your program's decision makers. Ever wondered how your game knows when to flash game over? How a quiz checks if you nail the right answer? Or how apps decide if you get in or get logged out? It's all thanks to conditionals. In the next few minutes, we are giving your code the power to think on its feet, deciding whether it's time to throw a victory dance or hit you with a try again. Master this and your code won't just run, it will react. So let's level up your programming game. What are conditionals? Imagine you're playing a video game and you've decided what to do next. Attack the monster, search for treasures, or run away. Conditionals are how your program decides what action to take based on the situation. It's like programming your code to make smart decisions during gameplay. They start with the simplest decision maker of them all, the if statement. This code snippet checks if the weather is sunny. If it is, it prints, it's a perfect day for a walk. Simple, right? But what if the weather isn't sunny? That's where else comes in. Now, if the first condition isn't met, the program falls back on the else. It's like saying, not sunny today, no problem, let's stay indoors. But what if the weather could be more than just sunny or rainy? And that's where Elif steps in. Now the program first checks if it is sunny, then it will check if it is cloudy, and if neither, it suggests staying indoors. It's all about having options and handling different situations. Now your code can adapt and react based on what's happening. And this is how it's done in Python. You can look up the syntax for any programming languages, but the most important thing is to understand the logic. And here's a pro tip. The order of the conditions matter. The program checks the conditions from top to bottom and stops as soon as it finds a match. Kinda like you scrolling Netflix, landing on the half decent so, and settling for it. Yeah, we've all been there. Think of conditionals as a flowchart. If true, go here. If false, go there. And if all else fails, you end up in the default zone. Pretty much like making life decisions, right? Now, let's look at something more advanced. Nested if statements. Yes, you can have if statements inside other if statements. And in this example, we first check if it is sunny. If it is, we then check if it is hot enough for the beach. And if it's not sunny, the code suggests staying indoors. Think of it like those Russian nesting dolls. You keep opening one to find another inside. But a word of caution. Deep nesting can make your code messy. Keep it clean, folks. Before you think you've mastered it all, here's the last piece of the puzzle. Switch statement. Switch is like an if-else on steroids. It's available in languages like JavaScript, C++, or Java, and for some reason Python decided not to have it. But anyways, it's super neat when you've got multiple values to check, like days of the week. In a switch statement, you set a variable and match it against different cases. If it finds a match, it runs the code inside that case. And don't forget the break keyword though. Without it, your program keeps running through all the cases, and we don't want that. And of course, we've got the default case for when nothing matches. So that was switch statement in a nutshell. But here's the real takeaway. The most important thing is to understand the logic, when to use these conditionals and why. Non stress about memorizing every bit of syntax. Google is your best friend and chat GPT these days. What matters is knowing how to approach the problems logically and the syntax will follow. Now. Let's take a look at simple coding challenge, creating a great calculator. Here's how it works. First, we ask the user to input a score between 0 and 100. We then use a series of if and elif statements to check the range the score falls into. If the score is 90 or higher, it falls in the A range. If it's between 80 and 89, it's a B. Between 70 and 79, it's a C. Between 60 and 69, it's a D. And if it's below 60, it gets an F. Each elif statement checks the next range if the previous one isn't true. And the else statement catches any score below 60. This way, the program categorizes the score into the correct grade. So that was your simple grade calculator and you can do other challenges like writing a program that asks the user to enter a number and check if the number is odd or even or even creating a simple calculator as once a wise man said I hear I forget I see I remember I do and I understand so keep doing it and there you have it conditionals are like the brains of your code making decisions so you don't have to I hope that was instructional feel free to subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one